Hey guys, welcome to Gato Limb Retouch once again. In this video, I am going to show you how to really reduce the thickness or the illusion of thickness that occurs in your model when she is posed a little bit awkwardly and gives this unappealing look um, using very simple steps in Photoshop. So, without further delay, I'm going to just get right into it. So, this is the file. Um, I haven't done any retouching to the image as yet. Basically, I've just done a little bit of raw conversion and that's about it and what you want to do is create a selection of basically the area but it usually depends on how the model is posed but what they what you need to keep in mind is just not to cross as much lines as possible so you don't want to make a selection like around here because you have crossed like two lines when you could have made one around here and by lines I mean the edges the edges of the model so basically here and here would have been crossed but you just want to cross this main line here so I'm going to make a better selection. So there we have the selection of the models back. Um, I'm just going to add in a little bit more up here as well. All right. So now you want to hit Ctrl J to have the selection on a separate layer. And now that you have this selection on a separate layer, what you want to do is basically transform this layer and just take it in a bit and you can go as much as you want just to your personal preference but just remember you have to keep in you have to keep the model's body in proportional to her head so you don't want to go too far because she look like a bubble head doll or something so now you want to hit okay once you're satisfied with how far you have taken it in I think I have done it too much but I'm just gonna show you how you can do it or you can just carry it back a little bit. I think I did it too much. So I think about here is good enough. All right, and now you wanna hit edit, transform, and you wanna since you have only crossed one line, you don't have to, this this step will be a lot easier since you have only crossed one line. So you just need to match to carry the lines together. I'm just gonna pull this up a bit. Just gonna pull back here a bit. And push up the arms a little bit and you can just warp it to your personal taste but you want to make sure that the lines are joint so now that you have done your warping I think I made an error I'm gonna warp it one more time and just pull here down All right you can click OK and you warp it to your personal taste and now you want to create a layer mask and you want to get rid of the harsh edges by painting black on the layer mask. And as you can see, we have really made her look a lot slimmer, a lot less thicker. And she does look a little bit awkward. Now we're going to fix that in Liquify. So you're going to create a stamp, Ctrl Shift Alt E. And then I'm going to make a selection of the entire model because I don't want. For the sake of this video, I don't want to um, liquefy the entire image because the image is a little bit big, so it's going to take up a lot of memory. So I made a selection of the model and then I'm going to filter, liquefy. And let's just wait for the liquefy to come up. I'm just going to liquefy the shape of the model to personal taste. Okay, now we want to zoom in a bit. Oh, we have a little issue here, but we can fix that later. Um, now you want to make here, make the brushes small enough and just really take in the bumps. Okay, I think that's good enough. See how it looks from far. Maybe her back is a little bit too straight. I want to take this part in a bit. So it doesn't look so straight. Just give it a little cool. Right. Maybe I can pull down this a bit. Um and even take in her her, her arms a little bit further. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with this. And you can really play around with it a lot more to 
suit your personalities but I'm just giving you an idea as to how it can be done and this is it again it's probably not the same as my my attempt you see it's a lot different but um just you have an idea as to how it can be done and how it is done using simple warp and liquify and you would just want to make sure as well you see how I have an issue here you can just fix this by just cloning it away I'm not going to show you how to do that it's simple just clone but I didn't have this issue in my previous um, in my previous attempts so you just want to get rid of it as best as possible I mean you can do a better job when you're doing it but I'm just giving you an idea so that's it for now thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe to my video to my channel sorry and like leave a comment let me know what you think and check out my website www.gartwillmpretouch.net for more and be sure to purchase my DVD for more very helpful and useful um, retouching tips and tricks so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video